And it's to the MCG from yesterday is where we head next as the, the Dockers did make it four in a row. Andrew Brayshaw and his uh, reinvigorated form along with Jago O'Meara who's going to have to miss a week after the dump tackle uh, helped contribute as did Luke Jackson. It's going to be really interesting to see how he handles the ruck on his own. If yesterday's any indication, he's going to do it pretty well. So that might be a topic for another day, of course, with big Sean Darcy being injured. But uh, where do you want to start with this one? Uh, because Freo have changed, haven't they, as, as the year's gone, as you, as you asked for? Yeah, not as we asked for. As They've refined and, and tinkered and, and tried to look for that, um, that correction, I mm. guess, is the simple uh, answer. They say they're still playing the same theory or the same system. But to me, this was designed to not kick the ball back to Melbourne. Forward handball, kicks that were short of the arc, that didn't bomb the ball back to May, who only had five intercepts for the day. So here, normally that goes in. And it goes in long, and that's the, that's the ball that Melbourne prey on. Now, Fifey doesn't quite get this one over the top, but you can see the plan. The plan was obvious. It was their third... Uh, sorry, it was their most effective forward handball game since round three. So it's just a total domination in terms of forcing your system on the opposition. Go in short. I thought Fife was huge. I, I, the discussion about have they gone past five in, in, in the midfield uh, is, is for another day, but he, he was fantastic. Look at that. Don't go through it. Don't go at them. Go over them or short of them. This is, this is great coaching, and we've been pretty critical of the coach. They want to retreat Melbourne. So you've got to hit that one just short of the retreating defender. And now this is up to Jai as to whether he takes it on and has a shot at goal or he buys some time. So he did. He bought some time. And then all of a sudden you get, you get a higher quality shot. You get your sliding wingman involved or your half forward pushing down. And, and the functionality of the team is, is all adhered to. So they were able to score 79 uh, points, which is a good number against Melbourne and gives you a chance to win. I think it was really smart. You're spot on. Like, to go into that game, I think over the last month, to go round May and Lever has mm. been... We're seeing it, aren't we? Yeah. It has. Well, yeah. They're just going just short at or running out. Absolutely. Yeah. But, like, uh, Jai to do that and just pull back and go sidewards. But over the last four weeks, Stephen May only ten intercepts and Lever seven. Like, they would take almost six a game. Marks. Yeah, marks. Yep. So we're looking at, you know, Melbourne's defence that used to structure up so well and the pressure up the ground is not there anymore with Melbourne because it used to come in dirty ball. So sides are finding their way through it, being patient and going around these big guys and they're getting the opportunities. Yeah, it's still going to be interesting to see what their forward mix is at the end of the year, the Ds as well. Hey, you wanted to talk more about Jai Amos as well? Yeah, I just thought, like, getting to your point, Kingy, the ability to go round and, and find your own ball, take one mark. He took one mark for the game. But, but just look how smart he is to go lower his vision. He could have wheeled around and hit that to the top of the square. But this kid's smart. And what, when you're smart, you put yourselves in great positions. You've got to push there. And one thing you'll notice with this kid is in dangerous positions the whole time. So we're talking about lateral forwards and leaders. All he has to do is have that contest and you get an opportunity. And he did. So when you're keeping your defenders accountable, and I mean accountable by going this way, that way, any which way, rather than calling it long, I just think you find your forwards. And he had a sensational game, 14, found the goals as well. But that's how you play Melbourne in defence. Oh, I think he's better than that. I think he's a special one. He's I, only 19. Yeah, I, we, we, haven't, we haven't seen... And we're not going to say it for a while just how good he can be. But like you're saying, he gets it in different ways and he will come full-chested at the ball mm. uh, and he's, he can work with tactics. Like, to, to, to be able to play that way at that age, I think they've got a special one. he's 196. One. Like, it doesn't quite look that tall at the moment, but he's a great size. Well, the good, so good sides and good forwards have recovery. So you see when the ball hit the ground, he was on it, like, straight away. And at that size, it's a special talent.